If the world warms by one degree, the Arctic is ice-free for half the year, opening the legendary Northwest Passage for ships. Tens of thousands of homes around the Bay of Bengal are flooding. Hurricanes begin hitting the South Atlantic. Severe droughts in the Western US cause shortages in global grain and meat markets. This could be our world plus one degree. At one degree additional warming to today, we're likely to see the emergence of new deserts in the western half of the United States, from Texas in the south right up to the Canadian border, is in danger of becoming new hyper-arid areas where really no crops can be grown at all. The Earth's average temperature has always fluctuated, and a variable climate isn't unusual. It's the pace of climate change today that's unprecedented. If you had asked us 10 or 20 years ago, what would be the impact of one or two degrees additional warming? We would say, well, probably we can live with that. NASA climate scientist James Hansen was one of the first to sound the alarm about global warming. The threat has only escalated as he struggled to be heard. What we realize now is that we're getting so close to tipping points that we're going to have to stabilize atmospheric CO2. Studying climates in the past has given Hansen a window onto the dangers posed by global warming. In the last million years, it's never been more than one degree Celsius warmer than it is now. What we are doing now with the human-made greenhouse gases is an order of magnitude larger, and it's being introduced very rapidly.